what is up everybody welcome to this video today i'm going to be showing you guys the best and easiest way of how to do the retro fingerprint hack which is found on the Kero Perico heist. Now a few of you guys who may be newer to the game may be wondering why I'm in my arcade instead of on the actual heist showing you guys how to do this. And that is for one main reason guys. Now once you guys have bought your arcade, you'll be able to set up your casino heist and alongside setting up your casino heist, you're able to purchase something extra which is essentially a door security keypad which has all of the different hacks throughout the game on there that you are able to use and practice on before you go into any of the heists. Now as you guys can see, I'll show you just where it is on the board, it's this one just here. As you can see it says purchased. Now what you have to do if you want to get this one, you essentially need to start your casino heist, do the scope out at the top here, select which approach you want to get and essentially once you've moved on to this second board here, you'll be able to pick your hacker. I always go for the expert if you are going to do casino at any point. Go down and do this one prep here, which is for the hacking device. So you can use the keypad on the wall to practice your hacking. Now if you guys don't have an arcade, that's not a problem at all. All you want to do is find somebody, maybe one of your friends who plays GTA who has an arcade and make sure that they have a hacking device and ask them if you can go and practice on it for a bit just to learn how to do this hack because once you've learned the technique guys, you won't need to practice anymore and you'll get the hang of it and you'll be able to do it every single time. Once you've done the hacking device prep, what you want to do is go over to the keypad, activate the keypad, Oh, if I can get to it, there we go. Go down to Retro Fingerprint Scanner, and now I'm going to show you guys the best technique and the easiest technique of how to actually complete the hack. Once you guys are loaded into the Retro Fingerprint Scanner, what you want to do is just take a quick look at the fingerprints that you've got, and take a quick look at the fingerprint you have up on the screen to your right. Now the clone target, which is obviously the fingerprint you're trying to complete, We'll obviously have different sections which are shown on the left hand side which you can flick through. Now each section which you need to complete will essentially have a number. Now as you guys can see this first one at the top here, this is the top part of the fingerprint on the right. So this is actually the correct one and this will be number one. So what you want to do is find number one on the next one down. As you can see this is the same one here so that's also number one. And you want to go a long one and this one will be number two. As you guys can see number two fits in perfectly if you line it up with the fingerprint on the right. Now if I go down one more I'll find the top one again. So number one, number two and this will be number three. So essentially this will be the next part. And this one here, as you guys can see, it's number one, two, three, four. So this will be the next part. If you go back to number one again, you can start from the beginning. So this will be number one. This will be number two, three, four, five. And you want to do the same for this one. Just do the counting. So obviously this is the top part of the fingerprint. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And I can automatically see this is number 7, so you can just scroll to number 8 and it will obviously find the fingerprint, do the clone match and you can move on to the next one. Now I'll just show you for this one quickly how easy it is. So 1, 1, 2, and then you got 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go, that one's matched up nicely. There we go, so as you guys can see, print clone successful that is literally how easy this fingerprint hack is guys so as long as you guys can count to seven you'll be perfectly fine like i said all you want to do is start from the top on number one once you found that first piece go down and find the first piece for each of the ones you're on and then obviously you just need to count so first one will be one second one will be one two third one will be one two three etc and eventually you'll fill out the fingerprint automatically just by counting and you'll pass the fingerprint hack every single time if you guys found this video helpful at all please hit that like button but more importantly guys hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out